Hi, this is Billy Bean here with another segment of World News by Billy, episode 25, today's date, June 16, 2023. Some of my sources are God in the Bible, Patriot subscriber. Uh, some of the things we'll cover, government steel farms, hackers and banks, deep state loss in Ukraine. Poland says that Belarus attacked it. Some of my sources are um, God in the Bible, Patriot Subscriber, TFI Global, Al Jazeera English, Gene Decode, Hal Turner Plus. So let's get started. Okay, so we have information now about uh, governments uh, stealing farms because this is part of a deep state agenda. They want to uh, depopulate the world, get rid of farms, no food production, only enough to sustain, what, uh, 5 million, 20, 50 million people on the earth? The deep state. Uh, not godly. Okay. From France, 24, English, uh, we're talking about Spain. And there are millions of acres in Spain that have come down through generational inheritance to grow uh, orchards of olive trees. And now the evil and corrupt Spanish government wants to come in and virtually steal the land. Oh, we'll pay you uh, a minimum amount for it. So we can put in a solar park. No farming, nothing growing on this land. It's just to absorb sun, and maybe we'll do other things with it. But it is to destroy the farming industry in Spain. Much like uh, the government in the Netherlands, uh, which a lot of people call Holland. They're also stealing the farmlands and shooting their farmers. Evil and corrupt governments. So that's going on. And now we have this. Hal Turner and other sources are talking about what the Australian government is doing with regard to its livestock and it's only livestock that's intended to be eaten as food by humans another attempt to depopulate they're going to be sure that all of their livestock receive mrna uh, pharma for the arm type medications, which is a form of GMO, genetically changing cattle and sheep and goats. I know when I was in college in the 90s, this is when GMO was first coming out. I was a science major. I used to teach high school science, and I remember reading, what is GMO? And uh, the more I read and researched, I mean, there was, this was to genetically change food like oats and corn and so on. And then when I went to look for what are the long-term studies, because it seemed to me if you were changing the genetics of a food and feeding it to a group that would be humans, what were the long-term studies of the projected effects on humans eating this genetically altered food? And the answer was zero. No studies whatsoever. I'm, I was... Uh, I began to wake up somewhat to what is the field of science while I was still in college. So that's been going on. All right, now we have this. 
Al Jazeera English is talking about a meeting going on in France between MBS Mohammed bin Salman, leader of Saudi Arabia, that recently uh, mended its fences with Iran, and they're both a member of BRIC, BRICS, which is a new economic and defense group, Brazil, Russia, India, China, plus. And now they're meeting with Macron, who is also, we believe, an actor puppet, a leader, and uh, talking about France also joining BRICS. And they also discussed publicly the effects of the Russian-Ukraine situation. But mostly this was a meeting, uh, we believe, uh, behind the scenes for France to join BRICS. So that's going on. Now we have T. FI Global reporting, Germany initially said that it would pay for medical treatment for Ukraine soldiers at no cost to the soldiers. Well, 750 soldiers have shown up in Germany recently and Germany reneged, and now they want money from the soldiers or from the Ukraine government or somebody. In the meantime, these injured soldiers are sitting around with no treatment and barely being fed. So Germany reneges. Isn't that just like a government to say, yeah, we're going to do these good things for people, but oh, we don't want it to cost us money. And now we have this, okay, from Hal Turner. So, a former NATO leader, Andras Rasmussen, who was a leader of NATO several years in the past, and then when he got out, he began a new political group, Alliance of Democracies, that recently was on TV, and he brought this out, that in 2008, NATO had already made the decision that Ukraine was in. And this comes also as a, uh, this information is coming out that in 1991, Secretary of State James Baker, under the Bush presidency, told Russia, Gorbachev, that if um, Russia would agree to the uniting of West and East Germany, that NATO, oh, you believe us, don't you? We're not going to move past the Elbe River in East Germany. Germany. You believe us, don't you? No. And uh, this was in 1991, so that was a lie to Russia. So that's going on. And then in 2008, according to a former NATO leader, NATO had already decided to take in Ukraine. So that's going on. And now we have this. Also, uh, we have a president of the Czech Republic. So, Czech Republic, Pete Pavel, who says to Europe, you should round up all of the Russian citizens that are in Europe and put them in concentration camps just like H did in World War II Germany. He said this on TV. Isn't it amazing? These leaders are all reflecting, or many of these European leaders 
are reflecting the philosophy of World War II Germany. So that's going on. And now we have this. We have Jean Decote. Okay. So we have Ukraine. Let's draw us a map. Luhansk, Donas, Aparonista, Kherson, Crimea. Now, this happened near Kiev on May 9, 2023. Russia uh, dropped a Kenzal a bomb on an underground bunker in Kiev. And this killed, and I think this is the same uh, situation that uh, Larry uh, Johnson, who was former CIA, also talked about recently on Judge Napolitano's show that, yeah, so that was May 9. Russia drops the Kinzhal uh, missile. Larry Johnson reported it killed uh, 300 high-ranking NATO and Ukraine generals. 200 were uh, from the U.S. and U.K. Gene Decode is also reporting it took out a deep state cabal a leader who was uh, actually a, a something like an ET. And this entity was an ET. He was, um, I would describe him as an ET uh, projection or soul that had taken over a human body for 300 years. So we see that the uh, fallen angels have technology to continue a human body to live. And the way that the White Hats took out of this entity, they dropped the bomb, so then they entered the bunker and they had set up with them an electronic snare and we know about reading in the bible about snares and traps don't we this was a snare and what it did was it captured the soul of this et and released the physical body of the human who before he passed away said thank you for releasing me so it'll be curious to know how god judges him so uh i put this forth if you are not a christian you don't have inside you god the father god the son and god the holy spirit you are open and available to be possessed by the soul of other entities so yeah that's going on so that happened may 9 and lord maitrey was the name of this individual, Lord Maitre. So they've captured the soul uh, in this electronic snare, and we don't know what's going on with that. And we have this. So all underneath Ukraine, there are tunnels and bunkers that go to Germany and Poland and other, other uh, cities. Now, underneath Russia, according to Gene de Code, Stalin had built tunnels that go to ancient Samaria, Egypt, Mesopotamia. And we have this new information. So then, when... Uh, this happened, and they hit this Kiev 
Spanker. And they also took out a bio lab uh, where they were using live humans and mixing them with the animal DNA to produce hybrids. This is the same technology that was being used in Atlantis. And we know that God, when a certain level of genetic manipulation occurs, which God despises, he brings about or facilitates or allows an extinction level event. And that's what happened in Atlantis. Then 6,000 years ago, 7,000 years ago, God created a new Adam and Eve. Yeah. So that's going on. So now Kiev was doing the same thing, and they were also doing the same thing in the bio lab that was in Sudan. So these have both been taken out, the lab in Kiev and the lab in Sudan. So that's going on. God is in charge, and he is on the move. Yeah. All right, so we have this now. Uh, Hal Turner is one source I'm using on this cyber attack. So we had uh, information from uh, that certain things are under attack. That would include the NATO headquarters that are in Brussels. And that would include um, banks in Europe. And allegedly, according to uh, Intel, Hal Turner had a pro-Ukrainian group uh, is claiming responsibility. And they say uh, from June 15, yesterday, in the next 36 hours, they want to blow up another part of the Kirsch Bridge that goes to Crimea. And we have this. Uh, Hal Turner brought this out one week ago on Twitter. A group, Atlantic Council, published uh, a cyber attack in certain events can be judged by NATO as an act of war that leads to Article 5. So, yeah, they want to get a war going. And now we have this, the names of some groups, uh, Reveal and Killnet, or some of the cyber groups, and they are working together and coordinating a hack attack. And we have this new information coming out now about a banks in Australia. So I'll give you a little bit of background about the banks. Uh, top four, we have Commonwealth with uh, 163 billion in assets. We have National Australia, 81 billion in assets. We have West Pac, 72 billion in assets. We have ANZ, 69 billion in assets. Now we had another source who said all of the banks in Australia are owned by BlackRock. And we know BlackRock is a deep state U.S. government military deep state group. It's global. All right. Now what's coming out is that... This West Bank, the third largest bank in Australia on August 20, 
2023. They're going to limit withdrawals to $1,000 per day. So my question is, what's going to happen by this date? What is the significance of that date? So that's going on. And now we have this. We have war news 24-7. So we've had on June 15, Ukraine tried two times to land in four boats. And this is near the Kahova Dam. And uh, all the boats were uh, either sank or the Russians took them. And they also used, the Russians used Fab 500 bombs. And uh, overnight in Kharkiv, Russia also bombed an airport. And now we have this. We have no more details on this. So we have Ukraine, we have Belarus, and we have in this area, right here with Belarus. So we have Lithuania, we have right here, this is Kalingrad, a Russian enclave, and we have Poland. So Poland and Ukraine, uh, Belarus, do share a border. Poland is making the statement that on June 15, about 5.30 p.m., that Belarus attacked the Polish military. No other details are being given. And this is the public statement that is being put formally out by the government of Poland. So we see NATO wants to get some type of Article 5 situation going. An attack on one is an attack on all, and we'll just come in full force. And, oh, we've got all of those planes now uh, in the Arctic and um, in uh, Europe, uh, with uh, the two U.S. Mil uh, no, NATO exercises Arctic 23 and Air Defense 23. So, and we had yesterday come out that NATO is recruiting doctors and medics and paramilitaries paramil also to have a six month contract beginning June 23, which is when these two NATO exercises are to end. So we see some type of plan being revealed. A short prayer. This is a weather prayer, modified weather prayer from uh, General Patton in World War II. Father, Grant us good weather for battle. Guide us from victory to victory and crush our enemies. We thank you, God the Father, God the Son, Jesus, who many call Yeshua, and God the Holy Spirit. I say to my family and friends, remain steady out there. Continue to pray. God is in charge, and he is on the move. I love you, and I'll see you soon.